Welcome, everyone. <laughs> Happy Christmas, Thanksgiving, <laughs> holiday season. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is a special day. It's a special day because there's a special person in the Aww. studio with me. Who Who are you for the folks that are like, there's so much mystery? What? Wow, because I see on the notes here that you're going to introduce me. Oh, that's right. Don't worry. I'll just... do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, it's oh, fine. Um, Emily, welcome to the show. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Molly. So excited to be back for year two of your amazing what do you call this? The special, your Purchase with Purpose yeah. Holiday Gift Guide episode. Yeah, the Purchase with Purpose Holiday Gift Guide episode on the Business with Purpose podcast. <laughs> it's quite a mouthful. People apparently have been excited for this to come out for many weeks now. They People are. wait on your gift guide, Molly. I you know. need to tell them what to get for their everyone on their list this year. <laughs> I know. I know. So I so if you are a like a loyal longtime listener of the show, then Emily Sexton is no stranger to the show. Emily Sexton, the founder, CEO, owner extraordinaire of <laughs> The Flourish Market, uh, is here in the studio with me. She is actually, if you want to go all the way back in the archives, Whoa. she was the guest Whoa. on episode two. Crazy. And what episode is this? This Molly? is going to be episode, hold on. <laughs> Wait for it. This Wait is going to be episode it. 116. Holly, that's incredible. Isn't that crazy? That's incredible. Yeah. So 116 episodes. That's 116 weeks that we have been doing the Business with Purpose podcast. And last year, if you listened to the Gift Guide episode, Emily was also my lovely and talented co-host. And of course, I had to bring her back this year because one, I love her so much. And two, she's so much fun. And three, who else would I want to do a bunch of holiday bits with? (laughs) We've already been dancing and we have. doing bits before we, we were like, we need to press start like, I right now. I know. I know. So, but if you are new to, you're a new listener to the show and you don't know who Emily is, like if you've been living under some kind of rock or something, Get out uh, of I'm here. just kidding. I, I love you if you don't know who Emily is, but you're about to be blessed. Uh, Emily, introduce yourself to the folks that don't know who you sure. are. Sure. So my name is Emily, but you guys can call me M. So like Molly said, I'm the founder and CEO of The Flourish Market. Um, gosh, and we have this incredible team that helps run our little boutique in downtown Raleigh, North Carolina. We're also an online shop. We just celebrated our third birthday, which is Woo! crazy. Happy birthday to wow. you. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Um, and just in addition, I'm personally really passionate. Well, well, first of all, all of our products are made by or go to support women who have overcome. And a personal passion of mine is helping women entrepreneurs, women in general, overcome the fears and barriers that keep them from launching the business that they want, growing the business that they already have, or just living life to the full. Yeah. So I'm all all about, yeah, helping women overcome. I love it. And you have, I mean, I feel like this second half of 2018, you have just been like, I'm launching this thing. I'm launching this <laughs> thing. And like, you're like the Oprah of launching things. Get you're just like, you're here. like, and I'm going to launch you. I'm going to launch you. I'm going to launch you. Like, but I'm so just so proud of you. You just Aww. went through a big rebrand Thanks, and Miles. your Dare I Say video was so mm. powerful. So Thanks for being a part of that. Of course. It was so much fun. Well, Big things ahead, big things ahead, and um, yeah, the holiday season is upon us, which is is a big deal in retail, and uh, if you're listening right now, you have the opportunity to bless in a really big way the businesses that we're about to talk about. Yeah, yeah. So we are so excited, as usual, to bring you a gift guide that we hope will be not only helpful, but empowering and exciting, Um, and we're also going to have some fun along the way. We collected questions from the audience so both Emily and I gathered some questions from followers online for kind of fun holiday themed questions and we have some really good ones picked out really good like we said the funnier the better and you guys yeah. you guys rose to you the delivered occasion. you <laughs> delivered so we've got that peppered through um we also decided to simplify a little bit this year so we've just got three categories we've got gifts for kids gifts for men and gifts for women also boom, boom. also there is going to be one URL to go to this year. So instead of having to keep track of like 90 billion URLs, I'm giving you just one website address. And then all of the coupon codes, all of the individual links will be on there. I will give you the coupon codes that all of these generous brands have given for these products. Um, I will give them throughout the episode as well. But just one URL to keep track of. So you can go right to my website. You'll see all of the links to all of the gifts 
along with the corresponding URLs. And then that way you're, you know, if you're driving down the road, I don't want you to be writing <laughs> something down because that's not safe. It's not safe. It's not safe, folks. Uh, so the URL to remember is going to be stillbeingmolly.com slash gift guide. That's all. Nice. That's it. Brilliant. Super easy. Brilliant. Stillbeingmolly.com slash Slash? Slashed? I think it's actually backslash. Backslash. Or backslashed. Back forward. Back forward. <laughs> forward slash. Gift I don't guide. know. Which one is it is? Gift yeah, guide. Get, yeah. It's whatever. We'll find it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all use the internet. <laughs> y'all use Al Gore's internet and y'all know how to write a note. <laughs> y'all, y'all know how to... Sorry, oh, it's for the pe- for the millennials, they're like oh, Al Gore's man. internet. I don't understand. Oh, that's a, that's a like gosh. late nineties joke. Oh. Uh, okay, but before we, before we dive in, we have to thank our sponsor of the show because I mean we would still do the show, but because we have a sponsor of the show, it really helps us to just bring you even more amazing content. And that is our amazing, amazing ladies over at Cultivate What Matters. Praise hands. I personally super heart this sponsor. I'm so saying, much. Like, and I was like. I, Emily's going to also be able to talk yes. about how amazing the sponsor oh, is because so they're good. just, they're fantastic. Uh, so with an ever growing list of to-dos, it is so easy to feel overwhelmed and dispassionate by the tasks on your plate and disappointed that you are not spending enough time doing the things you love and caring for the people you love. The ladies at Cultivate What Matters want to press the reset button. They believe your time can be spent intentionally and that your to-do list can be simplified by uncovering meaningful goals and taking action on them little by little. In doing this, we learn to celebrate progress, not perfection. Now, I am a Cultivate What Matters fan. Emily is a Cultivate What Matters fan. I am personally a user of the Power Sheets. I also use their Write the Word journals. I use their individual goal setting list, like their couples goal guide, their parents goal guide, their relationships goal guide. Um, And they just launched also the new Celebrations Binder, which will help you prepare for what matters in any season of life. It's a great companion product to your Power Sheets goal planner. The Celebrations Binder will help you define the memories, traditions, and experiences that matter to you and prepare for them with ease so there are just so many amazing things and honestly I like to kind of I, I thought this was a perfect sponsor as well because guys or ladies if you are looking for a gift for yourself or if guys if you're listening and you want to get the woman in your life a really meaningful gift honestly the power sheets like I am not boom. kidding boom they are yes. amazing Emily is a power sheets user mm-hmm. I'm a power sheets user tell us about your experience Ooh, using the power sheets Emily. okay so I actually on January second of this year I showed me my like myself going through my power sheets, mm-hmm. and I'm pretty sure we like sold them out that day. Yes. People just were watching, and it blew their mind that there's like this shame free yeah. way of thinking about goals and legacy size goals. So it's yeah. not just like things that aren't connected to the heart. I can't even like put into words. You just have to like look at the product, but the yeah. way that this product like maps out um, how to set good goals, goals that you're actually going to want to achieve and achieve in this shame-free way. And so they have just really blessed my life. I have followed Cultivate What Matters for many, many years before they even had products. I know you have too. We would help each other set goals based on blog posts. And now they have products. It's just so nice to have something tangible. Yes. And yeah, like I said, when I put that up on Insta stories, people were like, oh my gosh, can you, it was before highlights. Yeah. So I actually put all the videos together into a YouTube video and got thousands of views. People were just, I think, Think people crave intentionality yes. for their life, and this yes. is a product that certainly can help you like live a more intentional life. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I have shared a bunch on this podcast about Cultivate with Matters and how much I love them. Um, Laura Casey was on episode thirty-seven of the podcast, and I just loved hearing her story of how she got started and how this was almost like a happy accident in a lot of ways. Um, and yeah, women just crave stuff like this. And it has been a life-changing process for me. So uh, this is the only one that I'm going to have a unique URL for. So if you want to directly go visit and check out Cultivate What Matters, you can go to stillbeingmolly.com slash cultivate. So that's, again, super easy, stillbeingmolly.com slash cultivate. And thank you to the ladies at Cultivate What Matters for sponsoring the show today. All right. So we're going to dive right in to the gift guide. I'm so excited. Well, actually, I I take that back. We're not going to dive right into the gift guide, but I just want to give you a brief overview of the format. So we're going to go to kids' gifts first, men's gifts second, women's gifts last. Again, coupon codes will be given along the way, but the link to remember is stillbeingmolly.com slash gift guide. But before we get into that, we're going to ask some fun questions because we're all here to have a little bit of fun too, right? 
right? We are here to have a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot yes. Of fun. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Emily, I'll ask the first. Or no, you ask the first one, and I'll go on the second one. Okay. This question comes from Susie Silver Art on Instagram, and the question is. What is your favorite Christmas cookie, Molly? Ooh. Ooh. Christmas. Isn't there a song about Christmas cookies? Like, Christmas cookies. <laughs> is that how it goes? I, I can't recall anything, <laughs> anything like that, I'm actually. Probably, I'm honestly probably making that up as I go. <laughs> there just sounds like, if there is not a song about Christmas cookies, Ooh, there man. should be. Mm. So, anyway. Make one. Now, there's a benefit to all of this that you might have overlooked or missed. So, now let me tell you the best part of it all. Every time she sticks another batch in the oven, there's 15 minutes for some kissing and a hugging. That's why I eat Christmas cookies all year long. Oh, take it away, boy. Uh, so my favorite, so it, it's interesting because growing up, we didn't have like, I mean, we made cookies for Santa, but mm. my favorite, quote, Christmas cookie didn't really appear until the last eight years or so uh when my husband and I started dating our first Christmas together when we were dating I spent Christmas at his parents house Whoa. so we were just dating That's a big deal it was intense so my dad was still living in Florida and that was um during a time in my life when I had uh n- no money and so I couldn't afford to go <laughs> visit my family for Christmas and so John and I were dating and he was like um how about you come visit me and my family for Christmas and casual like, question casual <laughs> casual it's totally fine and uh so we went to my in-laws house well at the time they were just you know the parents of the guy I was dating and went to Christmas and it turns out his mom every year makes like a whole smorgasbord of various and sundry Christmas desserts and like they're there when we arrive and like since that time every year every christmas i can look forward to my mother-in-law's amazing yes. christmas smorgasbord oh, of desserts yes. so the first is ding tookies <laughs> what <laughs> fell that please? ding tookies um otherwise known as green cookies but my husband when he was little couldn't say green cookies so he pronounced them ding tookies and to this day you can hear a 35 year old man being like mom can you uh make me some of those ding tookies <laughs> Hey, Ma, can we get some meatloaf? <laughs> so they're like, I don't really know. Like, they're, I want to say that's like uh, frosted flakes with some type of like marshmallow. Like, Oh, I know these cookies. Th- yeah. But are they like, green? Yeah, but they're green. So okay. you, there's like green dye oh, okay. in them. Okay. But I want to say it's almost like a Rice Krispies treat, but instead of Rice Krispies, it's like frosted flakes. Bring me some ding cookies. From ding, ding I wanna, cookies. I, <laughs> <laughs> I want to try these ding cookies. Yeah. Um, she also makes chocolate no bakes. That's my personal favorite because it's like oatmeal with like peanut butter and chocolate. Yeah. Um, oh, yes. they're so good. Oh, yes. And she makes chocolate chess pies. Glory, oh, hallelujah. So good. I'm just saying. So that's that would be my answer is because really my, my mother-in-law has, is like the one that every year I'm like, I can't wait for the crisp cookies. <laughs> and I also love to hear my grown adult husband say ding tookies. Ding so, cookies. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to practice the pronunciation on that. Ding but tookies. I request some. I want to try some. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> all right. All right. So, Emily, this question comes from Sarah Crane, and that mm-hmm. is, what is your most awkward holiday moment? Oh, shoot. I can't believe we're starting with this question. <laughs> okay, coming in hot. Wouldn't be the Christmas shopping season if the stores were any less hooter than they are. Hotter than they are. Whew, it is warm in here. Well, you have your coat on. Yes. Oh, do I? How did that happen? Because it's cold out? Yes. Yes. It is. It's a bit nipply out. I mean nippy out. <laughs> I say nipple. <laughs> uh, there is a nip in the air, though. I'm phrasing this in a way because, in a different way, because of this is a family show. But this is literally my most awkward holiday moment <laughs> that happened many years, many years, many. like in a row. However, so comma. However, I did not realize what was happening until, like, I was maybe twenty-five. Okay. <laughs> Yes, this is true. This is like every the setup for ho- this. Is- yes, every holiday of my childhood, basically. <laughs> so, does anyone remember like Casey Kasem's countdown? Yeah. And I say anyone, you're the only one in this room, <laughs> Molly, but maybe some of the listeners are nodding their heads. So basically, we would time it so we would leave church and the countdown was just ending because it would always end around like 12, 15 or so on Sundays. And it was his, you know, top 10 or top. 20 or whatever of the week but there was always the same sponsor of the show <laughs> oh, oh no. um, around the holiday season and uh i'll let here's the jingle that i was singing out loud so it had a really catchy jingle you know as a child i don't know if anyone else like sung along and didn't think about what they were saying because they're so young and naive and grew up in a small town and had no idea um but here was the jingle 
Priscilla's where fun and fantasy meet. <laughs> do do do. <laughs> um, yep. So when I was like 26, I moved back to the States, lived in Raleigh, and that jingle came on again, the radio. And I realized that my whole childhood, around the holiday season, I was singing a jingle about a... Uh, oh, uh, an adult undie store <laughs> in the back of my car with my parents. We're fun and, and fantasy, fantasy meet. Do 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 do. Yes, and it's not <laughs> it's not like a cute story. It's like, yeah, yep, yep. So, anyways, oh but you know what that kind of it, it, this is like loosely reminds me of just <laughs> oh, the other gosh. day. I heard Lily in the playroom, and she was like, "Trilogy, it's easiest one, two, three. <laughs> Trilogy, one, two, three. And I was like, is Lily singing the jingle to a prescription medication commercial? <laughs> she, was. she was. She was. She was indeed. Yeah. Trilogy. Uh, I don't even know what trilogy is for, but. Lily I'm... is my spirit animal. <laughs> I wanted more from my COPD medicine. That's why I've got the power of one, two, three medicines with Trilogy. The only FDA approved three in one COPD treatments. Trilogy. She just, makes me feel better about my, myself. My five-year-old oh, was drinking, was drinking, was singing a <laughs> a theme song to a uh, prescription oh, med. So I, you know, it, it, mm. it happens. But you were, your your childhood uh. was you were singing a jingle to Priscilla's and whatever trilogy is for. That's what she knows. I can't believe I admitted that. <laughs> okay, it only goes up from here. I, all, all right. right. Well, all right. <laughs> I love it. Okay, next. We're diving into kids. This is a fun category. Um, And we've got some really fun and unique products for this category. And the first up, I even brought it here so that Emily could see it. I know that you guys can't see it, but I'm going to have pictures in the show notes. But the first up is Maya Mom. And I think I'm saying that. Maya Mom Weavers. And these are... The most adorable. Are those aprons? Mommy and me aprons. Stop, Stop it. Are that they not so the cutest cute. things? So they <laughs> oh are hand woven in the mountains of Guatemala. They are the sweetest, sweetest company. Just at, my interactions with them have been so sweet. I found them, I guess, earlier in the fall. And I just found, because Lily is really into helping mommy cook. And so she always wants to be in the kitchen with me. And I always wear an apron because I am really messy. And so she would always be really upset that she didn't have an apron too. And when I found these, I was like, this is the cutest gift. And like, honestly, they have different colors. The one that I have is the royal blue stripe. So it does have like royal blue and purple, but they've got lots of different colors. So moms of boys, your boys got to learn how to cook too. I'm just saying. So it's the cutest little apron. It oh is, my gosh. It's so sweet. And it's adjustable too. So the strap you can make tighter or looser. And so oh, it, it grows fits. With them really any I would say from toddlers all the way up to big kids Um, and they have matching mommy and me ones and they are just so cute so Maya Mom Weavers they are offering 20% off y'all with the code still molly 20 so just such a cute gift and so this kind of also works for women but I think it would be really sweet for a mom to give one to her little one with a you know a matching apron how sweet is that so so cute so cute all right, the next one, oh, Emily, I love this one so much because I am really big into gifts that kind of keep on giving. Like you give it one time, but then it just kind of comes over and over. Like every year, my in-laws get my kids a subscription to Ranger Rick Jr. and Ranger Rick Cub. You know, so like every month oh, cute. they get their little Ranger Rick Jr. magazine and things oh like that. Gosh. Like, But that's such a gift that it's an experience. Useful. It's an yeah. experience. Things like that. Uh, this company is incredible. It is called Four Purpose Kids, and it is a subscription box. And Four Purpose Kids is a social good brand that is inspiring the next generation of global citizens by teaching kindness and doing good as a way of life. So how it works actually is. 
It is a subscription box. It's a subscription of toolkits that includes everything from curated books and fun interactive activities around helping people, the animals, the environment. Each toolkit focuses on a special cause, and they have activity guides that use multicultural characters to help your kids connect to the world around them. With touch points built into each toolkit, you're not only promoting goodness, you're making a habit of it. And they are just the sweetest toolkits. There's different themes. There's a quarterly subscription. You can buy one one time. You can pay annually. But it's just it's a way that your kids are getting kind of like this this gift box full of really awesome items every month. But then they have a way that they can connect them to the the world at large. And I love, too, that they are really intentional about featuring multicultural and multi-ethnic books and characters and information in there. So all different types of kids can see activities and and see other kids that look like them Mm, and be introduced to other cultures. It's just, oh, it's so great. I love it. I know I would be so tickled pink for my kids to get something like this. Yeah, and what kid doesn't love opening up a box that has numerous items I'm in it? I'm just saying. <laughs> like, it really is like a little Christmas. Oh, it'd be like so Christmas fun. every single quarter. So. so fun. It goes back again to that experience. It gives them some, exactly. something to do with you as yeah. a parent. Oh, yeah. I might have to grab some of those for my nieces. They're really, they're really, really cool. So they've got everything from the Do Good Starter Kit to an entire box on helping people in communities. They've got one that is focused on the environment. Again, one on focused on helping animals. So there's lots of different kinds of kits that you can get. And so the code is give kind molly all one word give kind molly and that's 20 percent off your first order so again i will have the link um in that still being molly.com slash gift guide page and the code is give kind molly but just such a fun unique gift and especially like grandparents this is a great thing to get for your grandkids as well all right Number three, number three, (laughs) is Sudara Kids. Now, Sudara, I love Sudara. Emily, I know you're a big fan of Sudara. Sudara. Oh, my goodness. Love their jammies. Yes, they are. But I included them in the kids section because they do carry women's pajamas. They do carry men's pajamas. Um, But I sometimes feel like maybe their kids stuff gets kind of pushed to the back burner because their men's and women's stuff is so upfront. Um, but if you are not familiar with Sudara, this is an amazing brand that is working with artisans in India. And I also believe Bangladesh, um, women who have overcome human trafficking. Um, they are really intentional about fighting human trafficking through the employment of these artisans and providing sustainable income. And they're just, they're just an amazing, amazing company. The owners are incredible and they have huge hearts for ending human trafficking and they make some of the most comfortable and cozy and adorable pajamas I have many pajamas from (laughs) Sudara uh, but I also have uh, my daughter Lily has some of their pajamas and um, they have little boys pajamas now too little boys pajama pants they've got really great empowering t-shirts for kids so it's just a great way you can get I mean what kid doesn't love getting a pair of pajamas I'm just saying I mean, they're like the fact you guys have to visit their website. Their fabrics are so beautiful and mm-hmm. fun. They're like party pants. They really basically. are. They really are party yeah. pants. They're so fun. Lily wears hers all the time and she loves them. <laughs> she always I've seen her on Insta yeah. stories skipping and twirling yeah, skip. at the You know, yeah. I love putting on something that makes me feel so fancy. I'm gonna twirl in them. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And so we have a coupon code for you, and that is Molly15 for 15% off your order from Sudara. So that's pretty exciting. Yes. So fun. Check them out, guys. Yes. Long time fan. All right. And for each category, since Emily is the amazing and lovely and talented owner of the Flourish Market, and since she carries basically a gift for every person on your list, no no lie, legit, uh, <laughs> we're going to feature um, a Flourish Market item in each category. So, Emily, tell us about your kids' item from the Flourish Market. All right. For kids, guys, I feel like the hardest age range to shop for is like that elementary school yes Uh, yes yes (laughs) Yes. I've really struggled with the the girls in elementary school on my list so I specifically a couple years ago started sourcing gift items for these girls and so um one of the things I found that has been selling like hotcakes for the past years in our store are our bitsies kits and Mm. again these work for younger age girls too but basically it's beads that are hand rolled paper beads from Uganda and there is twine in there and 
directions on how to make your own necklace or bracelet and the kit makes numerous pieces so I love that especially if it's for a creative sort of gal yes um she can jump right in and design her own piece so these have been so popular especially when I see little girls come into the shop Mm -hmm. around that age they always flock to that and it's like the most requested item for Christmas from them so I feel very confident in making that recommendation yes this actually is an item that I have on Lily's Christmas list uh, because she is I mean she's five she'll be you know almost five and a half by the time Christmas gets here Uh, she is at that age where she loves to make jewelry so but I think that honestly this gift works from probably about the age of five or six all the way up to probably 12 or 13 maybe even a little bit higher than that because because it's a kit and you really can design your own jewelry I mean you can design something that a little girl would like and a teenager would like so so fun it's a perfect gift perfect gift all right so we're going to get to know you questions pot duh Number two. Um, okay, we can both answer this one because this is a fun question. All right. Um, this question comes from Brittany underscore Waller. Do you have a favorite prank white elephant party gift? She says, I love silly gifts at parties, as do I. A, a good, a well thought white elephant gift is so good so good so, so good. do you want to go first um you go first but okay. i will say if you have it i answered this similar question on last year's <laughs> yes and it's very funny it's toward the end of the episode so check that out yeah. but i'll throw this back to you molly yes okay so i okay i'm gonna name something because it is uh timely I do not want this to be misinterpreted in oh, any boy. way, shape, or oh, form. Oh, it will. Oh, is- I'm already <laughs> expecting messages. <laughs> so Gosh. I don't want this to be misinterpreted in any way, shape, or form that this is a political statement. Oh, but oh. I saw it this week and I went, is that real? Oh, that's real. Oh, oh it's actually real. Okay. Uh, so it's called Trumpy Bear. Have you Have you heard of Trumpy Bear? I got a sponsored ad on Facebook, yes. and I don't know what that says about me, actually, but it is real life. It's real. Yeah, it exists. So so if anybody would like a teddy bear that looks like Donald Trump. It does exist. It does exist. It does exist. But yeah. here's the thing that's even greater about it is it has a secret pocket in the back of the neck that you can unzip and pull out an American flag blanket. <laughs> Which is not creepy at all. It's not creepy. It's not a creepy placement is, of an American flag. Guys, I thought it was a prank. I thought it wasn't real. I, I was too like, did think the same. No, it's a real commercial. Like, just just search Trumpy Bear. <laughs> and the commercial has, like, these grown adults being like, I love having Trumpy Bear on the front of my motorcycle. And I'm like, what? And it aired on Fox News. It aired, like, on a couple of actual television channels. And I was like, look, if this is a, I mean... You can go to their website and purchase a Trumpy Bear. Like, so it's a Were real. Were there other products for sale? I did not want to click the app because no. I didn't want to see it again because I no. actually don't desire a Trumpy Bear. No. But no. Just no. the one product. Just the one it's product. Just, I think it's wow. just the one product. But God, here's wow. the Wow. <laughs> How unique. If it's a prank or a joke, <laughs> it's just. It's They're an, making a lot of money. That's an expensive prank yes. or joke. <laughs> yes. So I'm just saying. Oh, God. It might be the most timely white elephant like if you go to a white elephant party this year y'all better bring trumpy bear people would open it and be like what your reaction i think anyone no matter what your political thoughts would think is this 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 is an actual product this is an actual thing i don't care if you're a republican or democrat i'm pretty sure we can all agree that trumpy bear is it would be a shocking white (laughs) (laughs) introducing the original trumpy bear the fearless super plush american grizzly trumpy bear was born june 14th Flag day. Just find the secret zipper and pull out the flag blanket. Then wrap yourself in the red, white, and blue for comfort and warmth. Show your patriotism and proudly display Trumpy on Flag Day and on any American holiday. Trumpy can even honor your own family heroes. God bless America and God bless Trumpy Bear. This is my personal oh, gift to man. you for you to go watch the yes. two minute Trumpy Bear commercial. The, uh, the commercial is, no matter your stance on anything, it's very funny. It's worth from it. From what I remember. Yes. Again, it's a grown man oh, God. Like, who's like, oh, I love to put Trumpy Bear on the front of my, my motorcycle. motorcycle. I'm like, okay, you grown man. <laughs> 
Oh, um, I'll pull this out of the political weeds and I'll tell mine. Oh, yeah. I was actually gifted this two nights ago. <laughs> we did a team event. We did like an early kind of white elephant. It wasn't white elephant per se. Every girl on my team was assigned another person. It was like kind of a circle of assignments. Yeah. And, um, you know, they had to say over dinner like three things they were grateful for about that person, three Aww. things they brought to the team. And they had we gave them each $10 to pick out like a funny gift yeah. for them. And so one of my girls, Katie, gave one of our other girls, Maggie, corn dogs because she had heard her say <laughs> Yes, <laughs> this happened. That she had heard her say that she loved like the corn dogs at the state fair, and that's why she goes to state fair. So Katie spent all ten dollars on frozen corn dogs. <laughs> but the best part is she bagged them and brought them to dinner, so they were no longer frozen. So I'm actually not sure if Maggie should eat the corn dogs anymore. But I was like, you know what? That's a perfect gift because she heard yeah. her say she liked it. But then all that to say, Maggie had me, and I open up this. Um, it's like one of those tumblers. It's a white tumbler for coffee and it says on the front kiki do you love me <laughs> and i was like this is fantastic where'd you find that she painted it on there oh my because, goodness yes because her favorite memory with me and working at the flourish market was we got our shy mailman in grayland who we've been trying to get out of his box for two years to do the in my feelings challenge with us we oh put it up on instagram goodness. and he's like you know the dance yeah. kiki do you love me so she said that was like her favorite moment so it was like a hilarious gift but also like they really meaningful. To my heart. Yes. I love that. So cheers to Grayland and corn dogs. <laughs> but it's fun, right? You got to make things like fun it. around the holiday season. I like it. Do funny things. That is really funny. Yeah. Okay, so the next question is from M. E. Brink, and that is, what is the worst gift someone gave you, and you really had to play it off? Ralphie, what did Aunt Clary give you? Show everybody. I don't want to. Ralphie, show everybody what Aunt Clara gave you. <sighs> Aunt Clara had for years labored under the delusion that I was not only perpetually four years old, but also a girl. She just always gives you the nicest things, Ralphie. Okay, something really sticks out for me in this this question. I'm going to have you answer okay. this one. Okay, great. Um, I've got a good one. So several years ago, and I'm not going to say who gave it to me. <laughs> it's cool. Someone quasi close to me, a woman in my life, gave me a book about time management. <laughs> um, and when I opened it, uh, it, it, it so it's like a, a, a religious book about where you're supposed to spend your time mm -hmm. as a woman. Mm-hmm. And I'll just throw it out there. Her and I aren't on this same page mm. uh, about where I should spend my time as a woman. And I remember, like, my nostrils probably flaring because I was so mad. <laughs> and she looked at me and in a super passy, aggressive way Ooh. said, I really thought you needed this for your life. <laughs> well, okay. So, you know, that's just one of those things where you're like, hey talk about this a lot in therapy and you know I just don't need to explain to you my life decisions and I don't owe you an explanation so I played that mantra in my head just looked at her and smiled and said how thoughtful how thoughtful how thoughtful, how thoughtful. How thoughtful. but yeah super passy aggressive Ooh, gift that is not fun if you're listening have you ever gotten a passy aggressive gift mm. I mean to be sure mm -hmm. to be sure so yeah that's oh, mine yes. I like oh, it oh. well I'll I won't again I won't say who but I also received a book <laughs> One time that was a, like I oversee this book maybe, I don't know, eight years ago or so. And it was a gift from somebody. It was, uh, good girls don't have to dress bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which is hilarious. I was like. <laughs> because of what you do now. Okay. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, I didn't know how to take it. I was like, do you think I dress bad or do you think I dress good i don't know i wasn't sure how to take it and so i just went thanks i really like thank this you. this thank, is great thank you it was a very interesting gift oh gosh so, it's cool oh, bless people you know, bless them but you know you they know, mean well it's a thought that counts sometimes. i think <laughs> i think <laughs> all right so the next category oh this is a this can be a challenging category for folks and this is gifts for men and we tried to keep this uh again unique and you know, have some different uh, price ranges, things like that. So for our first gift in the men's category are these amazing candles from Daymaker & Co. Daymaker & Co. I'm going to give you the coupon code to start. The coupon code is MOLLY15, and that'll get you 15% off. Now, you might be like, why would I have candles in a men's category? Now, let me tell you, ladies, you get your man – a, like a nice and let me say like they do have some really beautiful I, I have them in here in the studio for Emily to see as well they have some beautiful care like you know what are they cases can't c c Hold, carriers holders the, 
I'm unsure. The things that wrap around the candle. The, wax. The, the, the thing that holds the candle in place. place. Yes. Now, they do have some lovely ones like this beautiful rose gold one. So this, this could also work for the ladies in your life. But their other kind of more signature candles are very masculine looking in their presentation. And I love them. Their scents are also really nice and refreshing but kind of on the masculine side which i personally actually like i like a masculine so good they smell so So good good. like this one is called the sanctuary candle and it is tropical fruit exotic foliage and driftwood and which is the one you're holding i am holding the imagine so bergamot amber and sea salt and I hope by my accent when I said bergamot, even if I pronounced it wrong, <laughs> it still sounds bougie. I think it is bergamot. Oh, is it? Okay, good. It's I was either bergamot sure. or bergamot, but I bergamot. think it is bergamot. Okay. God, yeah. it smells so good. It smells so good. But they're very yeah. like, they're, the one has a white casing, one has a black casing. They've got these really nice wooden uh, lids that have engraving on them. So they're just, they're masculine looking candles. Um, they come, you can even get like a, like a very kind of masculine looking gift box. Uh, but they are hand poured in Oklahoma they were started by a man by the name of Matt Vasquez and he I believe and I don't know exactly what the tie is but he has some sort of relation to Tracy Vasquez who is a friend of ours here in Triangle it may be something like that so Tracy if you're listening tell me how and I should actually just ask Matt maybe I should just do that be like how do you know Tracy Uh, so because I I looked them up on Facebook and there's some connection there but these uh, these candles are amazing. And if, if you want to know what the n- origin of the name Daymaker and Co. is, a daymaker, it, fun fact, is a person who performs intentional acts of kindness to make the world a better place. Make my day. Make my make day. Make my day. day. <laughs> um, <laughs> all the candles are soy wax made with 100% pure natural essential oils so these are non-toxic candles y'all Love that. Love so that. that's really good and through the sales of these candles they also give a percentage back to various nonprofits. everything from adoption to sober living homes they are doing incredible things uh you can find out more about them on their website daymakerandco.com um, but i'll have again the links on that stillbeingmolly.com slash gift guide page but these i again ladies you get your man a nice candle. Yes. And I'm just saying, you might wink at him. I don't, I, this is a family show. I'm I just mean, saying. I don't know. Pairs well with adult undies. <laughs> Priscilla. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, We're man. fun and fantasy. Oh, okay. Oh, Sorry. Man. Oh, that's too fun. I'm going to oh. be calling that back for the next five years <laughs> at least. So, uh, yes. Oh. Daymaker and Co. Candles. Perfect, perfect gift for your man. But we forgot about the candles on the headboard. <laughs> I'm lying on my back. Apparently that headboard was doing a little moving. Because <laughs> all of a sudden hot wax just goes Psh! And I'm like ah! And my wife goes, yes, sir. <laughs> you are welcome. All right. Number two is I am so excited to have this one on the gift guide this year. Same, same, same. Because I am just super pumped to see them finally really bringing this dream to fruition and that is fpr and that is the men's kind of men's line owned by elegantes now we talk about elegantes all the time if you follow me you know my love for elegantes if you follow m you know her love for elegantes elegantes is a brand followed uh founded by katie martinez and her amazing husband izzy has launched FPR, and that stands for Fight, Protect, Restore. And these are uh, shirts the men's line just launched. I mean, it's like baby, brand new. But it just launched with some great basic tees for men. They're so good. They're so good. My husband has a couple already and because I got him hooked on the FBR already. <laughs> they have a V-neck, a pocket tee, and then just kind of like a regular crew neck. Um, they also come in – this is another brilliant thing that I would have never thought. They come in tall and regular. So, like, my husband's 6'3", and the regular shirt was a little too short for him, but we got him the tall, and it – you know, perfect sits on a, a normal place on his on his hips. <laughs> um, but I will. This is another real quick thing I will say is pro tip: size down for your man because oh, okay. So my husband usually wears 
I mean, he's 6'3". I think he's, you know, pretty buff and muscular. Um, he usually wears, like, a large, extra large. And we actually ended up getting him a medium in the oh, FPR cool. because it, it just – I think with a T like yeah. that, you kind of want it to be – hug them a little bit more. And they have a great sizing chart on yes. their website. So just while your man sleeps, wrap a uh, <laughs> tape measure on his chest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Get his measurements. Yeah, order this. Exactly. Uh, but all the the amazing thing about this is all of these uh, shirts are made by women who have overcome human trafficking in Nepal. Their stories are incredible. Um, the shirts are incredible. They're really well made. And these are kind of great basic tees that every guy needs. My husband actually likes to wear his underneath a blazer, like a kind of a business casual event. Yeah. You can wear it with shorts. Because the fabric's really, really nice. And here's mm-hmm. the deal. We both know that Katie wants to be able to hire yeah. an additional seamstress by the end of the year. This is, you know, this is really weird really real like there are women on the waiting list that have mm-hmm. been rescued that are looking for their like next step and she would love to you know add a real woman to the team and so yeah. go sell them out you guys go sell them out because here's the thing the men in your life need teas they right. I, I, literally I feel like every man I know like keeps teas around yep. until there's holes in them and exactly it feels weird sometimes just to buy them like teas right but the thing about this the card has like beautiful branding and it tells the story behind the top and so it's just an amazing gift it's a necessity right it is. for your gift recipient but it also they'll see like the you know bigger story behind it and the give back element um, yeah. But yeah, we have these in our store. They're selling like crazy. The fabric's really, really nice. It's at such a good price point. So please visit their website, sell them out. We want to get another girl hired. Yes. Amen. Um, and again, FPR stands for Fight, Protect, Restore. And Izzy's vision, who is Katie's husband, his vision was really to find another way to get men in the conversation for fighting human trafficking, which I just think is so incredible. So I love that you can do something like be have, play a part in fighting yeah. human trafficking just through the purchase of a simple t-shirt and you might think like oh my purchase doesn't matter let me tell you it does it does it does, it does you guys every purchase matters so um i do also have a coupon code do- though for you so you can make your purchase matter and also get a little <laughs> bit of money savings so that code is still being molly for 15 percent off plus free shipping wow yes. sell so, them out guys this is very straightforward sell i'm them just out. saying sell them out sell them out, sell them out. All right, move it on. Next, 10,000 Villages. Now, 10,000 Villages, I mean, they're like the OG of the fair trade industry. They are, and for unique gifts. Seriously. So while I am going to name a couple very specific items, let me just tell you. Plethora of opportunities. Just go to 10,000 Villages' website. And, like, they even, they have an amazing resource right on there. They have an entire gifts tab where you can, like, break it down by price point. You can break it down by who you are looking to shop for. Let me just tell you, they have so many gifts. They have brick and mortar stores in addition to um, an online shop as well. So if you have a 10,000 Villages near you, you want to see, feel, touch the products, you can go check those out. Um, But they also have an amazing online shop. They have very fast shipping. And we got a coupon code. So that coupon code (laughs) is still being Molly25 for 25% off one regularly priced item. Wow. Yeah. One regularly priced item still being Molly25, 25% off. Um, so my two recommended gifts and, you know, again, you can just go to their website and really find anything for the the man in your life or the woman in your life or anybody in your life, really. (laughs) But the first is for those that like games. I love games. We love to play games in our house, like board games, card games, all those kind of things. So the one that we actually got is the four in a row game. Now, yes. It is basically a wooden version of Connect Four. Um, so if you love, who doesn't love Connect Four? Everybody That's loves what Connect Four. Are made for. But let me just tell you, it is beautiful. <laughs> it is handmade out of hand carved out of wood um, by artisans in India, and it is beautiful. It's it's got red and white marbles, and it has like more slots. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Slots. Slots. Yeah. Slots than Connect Four. But so it's just called the four in a row game. But it's played just like Connect Four. Um, and it's just beautiful. It's I mean, it's one of those that you could keep that on your coffee table as like decoration too. But it's just kind of a it's just a fun, like my husband and I love to do, you know, game nights or things like that. So that would be a great gift for your man. And it's really affordable as well. Or the other thing I love is their box of socks. <laughs> and love they that. these actually sell out real quick because they are 
real soft. Nice. So and you gotta, every man needs socks. I'm just saying, everybody man, every man needs socks, but they're like fun patterns and things like that. So it's just kind of a great stocking stuffer kind of deal. You know, there's just there's lots of options there. So. 10,000 Villages, you can't go wrong. Plethora. Plethora. Plethora of options. All right. So now, Emily, what you, what you got at the Flourish Market? Well, like I said, we sell the FBR shirts. Visit them directly on their website and sell them out there. Um, but if you're local and um, maybe your size is gone from the FPR website, yeah. you can come grab from us. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so Flourish Market item, though for men, I mentioned this last year. People went nuts. We yes. sold so many. So I want to re-mention it this year since I know you have a lot new f- of new followers. So we have this brand called Swell, and we actually have Swell. They're like water bottles that keep things liquids cold for 24 hours or hot for 12 Mm -hmm. and that is an understatement guys this is like the real deal so for the man who likes coffee or whatever it is this will keep it warm all day it's seriously incredible so we have ones for kids and women but we've got some really cool ones that are very masculine um all different shapes and sizes every man needs this so every man likes coffee yeah like i said last year you sold us out do it again this year so swell builds um uh, water wells all over the world and what's cool is inside the card actually gives you a link you can go and you can see the gps coordinates of the well uh that that particular bottle went towards so super cool oh that's really cool super cool i own a swell bottle and i didn't even know that now that's such know. a fun fact now you know i will say i will attest to because i use a swell water bottle and the other day i had filled it up put ice in it filled it up with my water went to the gym didn't finish the water left it in my car and this was back like a couple weeks ago when the weather in North Carolina it was like still summer it was like October 31st (laughs) and it was like 80 degrees Um, and I left it in my car like in the blazing sun came back like five or six hours later the ice was still solid and I was just like what like the ice hadn't even melted it's true it's a good product I was blown away (laughs) all right Emily the get to know you questions, part trois. Here we go. So I've got a question for you, Molly. Ooh. Part trois. Part trois. Okay, this question comes from, it's me, Emily V. <laughs> I like That's that. So funny. That it's is, me, Emily V. I like that. All right, Miles, what's the weirdest family tradition you or extended family have? Okay, so I was thinking about this question, <laughs> and at first I was like, I don't, I don't know if this counts, but I, this is the way I'm going to answer it because it's, it just makes for a fun story. And I honestly don't remember if I told this story on the show last year, and I don't think I did. So we're just going to go with it. So when I was in high school, and I guess, yeah, I guess it was all through high school, there is, I grew up in Northern Virginia right outside of Washington, D.C., and if you know that area, there is a kind of a hubbub of, of, of activity in an area called Reston Town Center, and this is a big town shopping center. It's really blown up now in, you know, in 2018. I mean, in the last few years, it's crazy. Every time I go back up there, which is not often. There's more shops. There's more to do. Um, But it was still a, you know, it was where the movie theater was. It's where the shopping was. And when I was in high school, like, that's where you went to go hang out on the weekends was Reston Town Center. And in the wintertime, they have a ice skating rink and they have a big Christmas parade and a big Christmas tree. And you can go see Santa. Well, my friends and I, we were skate guards. That was our job. We worked as skate guards at the ice skating rink. What What is that for those like, of us? So if you, if you go to an ice skating rink, there's usually like a person that's an employee that like walks around or like skates around with a jacket on. And they're like, if you fall, the skate guard comes and like, they're kind of like a lifeguard, but for ice skating rink. I've never experienced this. Now yes. I know. So I was a skate guard. Now, wow. the funny thing is, is I did not know how to ice skate when I got this job. Oh. Uh. So I <laughs> I think back and I'm just like, why did they give me a skate guard job when I didn't know how to ice skate? I mean, I learned how on the job. But anyway, so this was a a job I had, like a seasonal job I had during the winter. Well, you could also, again, see Santa. Now, I remember right when I got my job, the fall of, I think, probably my freshman year of high school, I got my job as the skate guard. And... I hear the boss talking about how they're panicking because they didn't have a Santa for that year. And this was like the the rest of town center Christmas parade was like a big deal. And they're like, does anybody know anyone that could be Santa? And I was like, I bet you my dad would do it. Stop. So I called my dad and I was like, hey, dad, you want to be the rest in town center Santa this year? And he was like, sure do. (laughs) 
so, and you made all of his Christmas dreams so come true. So my father was the rest. Of, sorry, spoiler alert. My father was the rest in town center Santa for about three or four years. No way. So he like did the Christmas parade, and then so me and my friends were elves. We were Santa's oh my elves. Gosh. So when the the Santa's workshop was set up and you could go and get your pictures of Santa, my me and my friends were elves. And so like we had this system where like because it would be a long line where one of the elves we would be near the end of the line and we would get kids names and then pass it along to my dad. So by the time the kids got to so Santa, smart. he knew, knew their, their name. name and these kids <gasps> would lose their mind. Oh my gosh. They did would... he ever get a name wrong? No, no, oh, he never wow. did. He flipped out. Well, oh. so so this is where like sort of the weird thing or like kind of funny, awkward, oh, hilarious gosh. story comes in. Not that this whole thing my dad was the rest of town center Santa. This is pretty weird. So this one night so I think this the pictures with Santa ended around like on Friday night, it's probably around like ten o'clock. Well, what kids are coming to see Santa at like nine forty five? Good question. Well, these two chicks, it probably in their fifties, roll out of the uh I can't remember oh, what was the Clyde's. Clyde's, I believe, was the name of the bar slash restaurant. They roll out of the Clyde's bar. These Feeling women good. have been having some beverages. Adult Let's, bevies. A bolt, adult adult bevies. bevies. Now they come rolling and they're like, we're going to go see Santa Claus. <laughs> so, no. Oh, so no. my dad finds this to be hilarious. Oh, no. So then I, I find out their names. I pass it to my dad. <laughs> Then these women who have had some adult beverages. Again, these women are in their 50s. Please tell me that it's They on his sat on no. his lap. No. They no. sat on his lap. Wrong. And he says their names. And these women are losing their minds. <laughs> They're probably like, how did he know? How did he know? <laughs> it was hysterical. Like, my oh dad gosh. still tells that story. Oh I mean, this gosh. is what? This is probably, like, oh. almost 20 years ago at this oh. point, And my dad will, like, cry laughing every time he tells that story so yeah these women are probably told oh still yeah telling that i'm just story. saying they were happy to be oh, there oh wow it was so funny all oh, the holidays full of so many oh, hilarious it was memories. so good it was so oh, good gosh. all right so this question for you uh this comes from micah m rose have you ever been re-gifted something and did you know it right away or did you find out later Micah, I thought about this long and hard, well, for like the past 10 minutes before, <laughs> um, and I can't think of a good answer because my gut's just telling me I need to tell a story about how I re-gifted Oh, something. please. Yes, that's perfect. That's okay. perfect. So this actually happened a few days ago, so it's <laughs> top of mind, and I'm just going to be judged really hard for this. Save your messages um, or send – no, don't don't send them. Okay, so it's I fine. was at this wonderful event um, – It was super bougie. I feel like I need to say that to classify what I'm about to tell you. Soup, soups, bougie. Lots of amazing bougie women there. And I was like, one, how did I get an invite? Two, I wish I'd showered. Um, I didn't (laughs) know what I was walking into. And there was this huge, like, fundraiser and raffle at the end. And I didn't – I was, like, at our Flourish Market table. Yeah. I was at a country club. I was at my Flourish Market table, but someone put my name in on one of their cards so I could, like, win something, I guess. So I'm in the back, and I hear them going, oh, M. Sexton won, M. Sexton won. Oh, this is, like, the best gift. And I'm like, oh, wonderful. I ran out. Like, I'm like, oh, what did I win? They're like, you won the Botox. <laughs> you won the Botox? Yeah, which is, like, from the nicest place in Raleigh. This is beautiful. It's called Skin Raleigh. It's, like, a beautiful, like, spa situation. And they're, oh. like, they do amazing things for skin, not just Botox. They do a ton of things. I love everyone who works there. We partner with them quite a bit to fundraise um, for our nonprofit partners. But I was just dying laughing because I was like, oh, of course I would win the Botox. <laughs> like, I was feeling every day of 33 in that moment. Yeah. And one of the women there, I had joked with her earlier that my friend uh, Ashley calls the wrinkles on her forehead her prayer lines. Uh. Um, and uh, she, the woman looked at me and she was like, it's for your prayer lines. And I was like, oh, because I have prayer. Okay, all right. Thank Feeling you. good about myself. Uh, but it just made me laugh and giggle because, of course, I win the Botox. However, I won't say who, but one of the girls that works for me had casually mentioned that she would be interested in Botox. So the next day, I was like, 
should I re-gift this? Should I surprise <laughs> her with this? Or was she kidding when she said that? And I was like, how do I navigate yeah. this? But my gut said, you know what, Emily? You should re-gift that Botox. It yeah. should go to a good home. And so I did. And her face, I couldn't read it when I gave it to her. And she was like, really? And I was like, oh, crap, I've really screwed up. But then she was just asking, really, because she was like, wow, this is a really expensive gift. But then I was like, oh, I want it for free. Uh, And are you sure you're going to use it? I'm not, like, being offensive, am I? But it's just so classic that at this, like, holiday party, I would totally win Botox. That's hysterical. Yeah, I was like, wow, I'm feeling every bit of age that I am I and like um it. you know I'm just gonna keep my prayer line so I re-gifted the Botox I like it you keep those <laughs> prayer lines never thought it'd be something that, that is, I re-gifted Botox that is only something that women in the south would call wrinkles is prayer, prayer lines. lines oh yeah girl you know it's my prayer it's lines it's my prayer lines it's my prayer lines <laughs> oh it's my prayer lines these aren't wrinkles these are my prayer lines Luther your face what about it it's like it's frozen or something Oh, this. I got a Botox injection today. Botox treatment. Botox. They take a big needle and inject it into your forehead and it freezes your face like this. I read it in a health magazine. And how long are you going to be like this? Well, this is temporary. And then you got all your wrinkles are gone. You should fight it. Yeah, well, you ought to get your money back. All right, we're going to dive right in to the category I know everybody's been waiting for, and that's the women category. Ooh, and what you going to put so on your many list. good things. So many good things. All right, so first up is Fair Trade Friday. Now, this is a subscription box, um, but you can't. They also have an online shop, and Fair Trade Friday is the, the let's call it the retail brand that supports Mercy House Global. If you Whoa. follow me yes, yes, on yes. social media, you know my just adoration, my admiration of Mercy House Global. I have actually been to Kenya and personally seen the maternity homes. So Mercy House Global is a a group of maternity homes in Kenya that rescue um, young girls, teen girls who are pregnant out of the slums, and they provide maternity care. They get them all the way through their pregnancy. And even the first two, sometimes a little bit longer, two plus years of their child's life, they're given job skills, education. Um, They have rescued up to almost 50 girls at this point 50 babies Incredible. almost almost wow. i want to say that their 47th baby maybe was just born oh my gosh. um but like i said i actually got to physically go to kenya in 2017 and see the maternity homes myself meet the girls um got to go and visit with some of their artists and partners let me just tell you, having seen, like, I know sometimes we say these things and we, we we think it's like, oh, that's so great that they're, you know, they're partnering with these people. Like, when you ex- get to actually see the work happening, mm-hmm. I'm just like, this and is an organization. actual women. I'm just saying, I'm like, take all yeah. my money. Please, yeah. take all Usually. of it. All of it. Uh, so I am a huge, huge, huge fan of them. Um, they were also, uh, so uh, Maureen Kaderi and Kristen Welch, the founders of Mercy House, were on my podcast also back in the early in the beginning. And I want to say they were like episode nine or ten. So you can go back to the beginning to hear their story, which is incredibly powerful mm, story. It is. So Fair Trade Friday is a monthly subscription box that benefits Mercy House Global. Now, I personally, with my own American dollars, have been a subscriber of Fair Trade Friday for a little over two years now, and I love it. Now, one of the things that I like to, t- to tell people, too, is this can be something that is kind of similar to what we were talking about with Four Purpose Kids, sort of that gift that kind of keeps on giving. So you could give somebody Surprise a subscription on doorstep. for Fair Trade Friday. Or here's what I actually really like to do as well is I get Fair Trade Friday for myself and I if there's a particular gift or an item in it that maybe I won't use or maybe I have something similar um I hold on to those for like teacher gifts oh, um birthday hey gifts yo. and so I kind of oh, have perfect. like a little box of things that like maybe if I'm not going to use it I know the perfect person that it would go to a gift closet if you will yeah and it's not like a hoard I'm not hoarding because it's not a <laughs> lot of items but it's just been really nice to over the years I always end up kind of keeping hanging on to something that I'm like you know what I bet you I know who this would be perfect mm-hmm. for 
and it always is. Um, and so every month, you there's a different theme surrounding the box. Um, you get anywhere from, I want to say, two to five products. It kind of depends depends on cool. the value. Um, and so the I actually have the December box with me to Ooh, show see. Emily. I know. I'm like, what's in your so, lap? I want to so see. So the first is this beautiful, it's like a little oh, hanging decor. Uh, I don't know what you call this. What would you call this? Like a hanging banner. Yeah, like you know a, those banners that can, are so popular right now that you hang on your banner. wall yeah. and then you put like an air plant beside of it, like all the cool bloggers yes. on Pinterest? It's, it's that. It's, it's that. that. It's like a canvas banner, but in gold writing, it says rise and shine. So, so it definitely could work for the holiday decoration, but I think honestly it could work all year round. Like in a nursery? And then you have anywhere. this beautiful pillow that is a oh, throw so pillow pretty. that um, is made by, um, how do you say it, Ziada? Z Z I Y A D A. It's handmade in India, um, and this one definitely is a little bit more holiday themed. But again, I think depending on your decor, you could use it all year round. Absolutely, it's got red. This beautiful red. Um, it's that uh like block printing. Block printing. Yes. Yes. Fabric on one side, and then on the other side, it's got canvas with hand stitched. Um, gold. That's so pretty. It's, shine. it's really beautiful, yeah. and then it also has a wow. coordinating. Uh, red star Christmas ornament, which is Cute. just beautiful. I love that. Okay, so I love this as a gift for anyone, but how cool would this be? This is would be very much speak to a woman that's pregnant mm -hmm. that's on your gift list, gift list or a woman who has le a baby, like yes. who just had a baby because obviously it goes back to support Mercy yes. House Global. So I think that could be a really like intentional gift for yes. that crowd too. I agree. They also have a, if you don't want to do the full original, what they call the original box, they also have a bracelet of the month club and an earring of the month club. So those are a little bit more oh, affordable. Earring of the month. But then you can get, like if you have a friend that really loves jewelry, something like that, it's kind of a little surprise every month. Now, your coupon code to remember is try us, T R Y U S, and that's 10% off for three months. So that's pretty exciting. I Love. think that would be a great gift for somebody. All right. So the next is plain products, P L A I N E products. Now, I also had a lot of these, like there's a theme here, but it's, I share with you guys companies that I already love. So uh, Plain Products, I actually had Lindsay, their, I guess she's their co-founder on the podcast last, goodness, last January. And Plain Products, so they are um, bath products. So they, they carry right now, they carry shampoo, conditioner, lotion, body wash, face wash, and face moisturizer. I believe that's all they have right now. But these are um, kid-safe, non-toxic. But what I love about them, and I use them personally, I have been a plain products user for about a year now, and their model is so cool. Not only are their ingredients clean, but they come in reusable, refillable bottles. So they come in aluminum bottles. And the way it works, when you place your first order, they send you whatever products you order. So right now, I use their shampoo, conditioner, body wash, uh, body lotion, their face wash, and their face moisturizer. So I use almost all of their products. Um, but the, you, you get it in their um, reusable aluminum containers. And then when you need a refill, you go online, you order your refill. And then what they do is they send you a prepaid uh, shipping label. And then when you're done with one, you empty it out, you wash it, rinse it out, you put it in the box, pop it back in your mailbox and ship it back and then they will clean it and reuse so it and so you're eliminating plastic waste you put this up on insta stories mm -hmm. like a couple months ago my mind was blown seriously blown and it's so not, cool and sustainable yeah and so it's not just good for the environment like the products are actually they're legit um so i mean i've been using them for a year because i love their shampoo and conditioner and their your hair looks so good and your face just, looks good I'm girl just saying. <laughs> thanks um, but this would be a great, you know, especially if you have a friend that is very eco-conscious. Um, maybe she's really trying to switch to non-toxic products. Um, you can, you know, I think this would be a really great gift for them. Um, and your coupon code to remember is Molly. And that's for 20% off. So plain products, coupon code Molly, 20% off. I think it'd be a great, a great gift. All right. Number three is, oh, Emily, I know you love them as much as I do. And heart, 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 heart. My, my, my friends at Trab Alive. I've also had Carly on the podcast. Ugh, their products are so good. So good. So good. Slay all day. Slay all their day. Their products. Now, they have amazing clothes. Um, they have amazing accessories. But the gift that I wanted to highlight for this particular gift guide is their tassel necklace. I love seeing that because that's my favorite product of theirs right now, too. So their tassel necklace 
from their fall collection is it's gorgeous. I love it because you can wear that with a white t-shirt. We've styled it this way in our shop mm-hmm. with a white t-shirt or you can put that on with like the fanciest holiday dress for a gala and it's going to go with both and be so unique. It's the most versatile piece and it comes in two different tassel colors. They have a marigold color which is almost kind of like a mustardy gold. Mustardy, yeah. And then they have um, I think they call it bone. So mm-hmm. it's kind of like not like an ivory. Yeah, ivory. Not not white white, not stark white, but no. not off white. Not no. beige. Perfect for the winter. Perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> it's simply perfect. It reminds uh, me of uh, what's that episode of Friends when they're Amanda darling. <laughs> It's Amanda cooling. <laughs> For you friends watchers, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's, it's Amanda, oh, darling. Okay, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, Tribe Alive, their tassel necklace. It's beautiful. It comes in two different colors. If you, I mean, really, it's perfect for anybody because it goes with everything. Um, and your coupon code to remember is Molly25 for 25% off, y'all. That is a good discount right there. I'm that just is saying. a good deal. And I love their pieces. They're handmade in mm-hmm. Honduras. Um, Carly, the founder and owner, she's a true visionary. Uh, she is very active um, both in the United States and abroad for women's rights mm-hmm. and just in general equity yeah. for, for all. And I love her heart, but I also love her voice. It's such a yes. vital voice. And so... Obviously, when you invest in pieces from Tribe Alive, the pieces are beautiful. They speak for themselves. Carly comes from, I won't say where, but a very, like, uh, retailer everyone loves Mm -hmm. (laughs) and loves their products. So her her eye and her style is so on point. And here's the deal. If you have someone in your life that's, like, a fashionista um, who loves trends, who um, is so hard to buy for and you feel like already has everything, this tassel necklace or really any piece of jewelry on Tribe Live's site is going to be the perfect gift for that type of yeah. gal because it's going to be something that they open they're like, wow, this is like super on trend. Yep. And then they'll, they'll read the story behind it and just, man. Yes. Oh, their stuff's so good. Yes, girl. When that fall collection came out, I was like, boom, it's our I best can, collection I today. I cannot. I know. It's so good. It. It's, it's so, so good. good. Ugh, so good. Okay. Uh, next up is Design for Joy. Now, this is a local Raleigh based nonprofit um, that I, oh gosh, I need to have Carrie on my show. I don't know why I have not had Carrie on, uh, but Carrie Heisey is a just a dear friend. And Design for Joy, what they are doing is so unique because. In a lot of cases, you hear about these stories of you know people here, which is great, partnering with artisan partner groups abroad. But Carrie took that a step further, and she's like, you know what? I want to provide dignified living wage jobs for women right here in the triangle. And so she hires um, women who are transitioning out of homelessness, women who are overcoming things like, uh, you know, um, abuse and domestic violence, um, women who are vulnerable for sex trafficking. Um, She is just doing incredible things and she is paying them a living wage and they make incredible, beautiful on-trend jewelry, accessories, all the things, bracelets, um, a little bit of home decor as well. I think they even have like shawls, kimonos. A little bit of everything. They have some really cool wall hanging. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Really colorful, really beautiful. Yeah. And so I just kind of put them on here in general because I just, I'm such a big fan of what they are doing. Um, and they, do, I mean, they just celebrated a year in October and she has already just done like mind-blowing things Um, and so I am just such a huge huge fan of them so really you cannot go wrong with anything from their shop so design for joy and you can use the code still being molly for 10% off so that's pretty exciting right there I'm just saying now the next I had to put them on here because I'm like I am so proud of my friend Kylie and for how much they have grown over Mm -hmm. the years so To watch their story unfold over the past few years has been incredible. And, you know, they're a brand you just really, like, want to champion. And you're like, I just love everything good happening to you right now. Keep going, sister. Yes, yes. And so that is none other than Nickel and Suede. Now, let me tell you, so I had had Kylie on the podcast as well. But um, so when I, 2014... I was invited to a Stitch Fix influencer trip, and I went to um, the Stitch Fix headquarters, and it was like me and five other bloggers from all around the country, and we were invited to this trip at the Stitch Fix headquarters. Well, Kylie Nichols, the founder of Nickel and Suede, was one of those people, and she brought these leather earrings with her, and she's like, yeah, so my husband and I, we just launched this earring company. What do you guys think? Like, I was going to bring some earrings for you just to check it out. Like, I mean, it, it had launched maybe a month earlier. 
And I remember trying that first pair of nickel and suede earrings, and I was like, girl, these are amazing. Mm -hmm. These are amazing. And so to see from the beginning, when I mean, like, I don't I don't like to sound hipster when I'm like, <laughs> I loved nickel and suede before they were super popular, but um, – it's just been really inspiring to watch my friend because I, I loved it. I mean, I think of Kylie as a friend. She's just she's got the biggest heart. She is a mom to five boys. Bless her. I didn't know that. She has five, five boys. Five boys. Wow. Five boys. Yeah, she's got she's a mom to five boys. She works hard. Um, and this year they were Nickel and Suede was on the Inc. five hundred list. I saw that. Like that's incredible. It's incredible. That's incredible. Um, and so I am a huge fan of Nickel and Suede earrings. I've gotten all of my friends addicted to their earrings. <laughs> uh, and so they are the, it is the go to gift. Like if you have a friend who likes earrings, just get your your friends some nickel. She's and going suede. to like the nickel. She's and suede going to earrings. like them. Yes, they're super lightweight. People are always going yes. to ask about them. They're leather. They're beautiful. Yes. And what a sweet family and what a sweet story yes. to get to be a part of. And I love too. Like this was one of the things that I didn't actually even know until I had her on my on the show. Was when they first got started. One of the things that she really wanted to do was provide jobs for stay at home moms mm. who couldn't necessarily work out of the home. They don't do this anymore, but she still obviously is providing jobs for people in Kansas City. Um, but uh, they would send kind of like earring making kits home wow. with moms so they could be working on them while they're at home with their kids and still earning an income, which I just thought was such a cool, so cool. cool unique opportunity. Um, and so I, and also this year, they have made gifting super sim simple because they have changed their packaging for the holidays. So like literally the box is r essentially wrapped. It's beautiful. And so you can just get that and boom, you got a gift. You're done. Now, Slip it in the stocking. I got a coupon code for you. <laughs> and let me tell you, oh, this Nickel and Suede does not run sales very often. They have their earring of the month and then like once or twice a year, kind of like Flourish Market, they'll run a sale. But they do not usually run sales and they don't give out coupon codes. So y'all, this is exclusive. And that is Molly 5 for $5 off. Like, that's a big, that's that's a big discount. Yeah, because their earrings are such a good price yeah. already. Yes. So Molly 5 for $5 off. Get you some nickel and suede earrings. Denise told you, right? <laughs> what? About this. Is that a decal? <laughs> no. Have you been tagged by the Wildlife Society? <laughs> it's an earring, Dad. <laughs> There's a hole through my ear, and Denise says it might be infected. Well, she's right. It is infected. Come on. What are you going to do to me? I am going to fix your ear. Then what? You expecting some sort of punishment? Shouldn't I? Yeah. Now, this one is kind of a hard one, but we're just going to, I mean, it's also kind of an easy one. And so the last is obviously the Flourish Market item, which let's really just be honest. Yeah. You could just go into Flourish Market, like <laughs> cover your eyes, point. Spin around. Like spin around. And then whatever you land on, there's a gift. <laughs> okay. But, so for Molly was like, okay, what, what for Flourish Market for women? I have talked with enough women. Mm -hmm. and that A lot. A lot a over lot of three women. years. And here's what I know about you, friend. You just want what you actually want. Yeah. So here's what I'm proposing. Yep. You're going to ask your man for a gift card. Yep. You're going to ask your mom for a gift card. Yep. You're going to put it out there to your best friends that you want a gift, gift card. card. Okay? Gift card. To the Flourish Market or any of these other yeah. brands that offer gift cards. Get you a gift card. Because here's the thing. I think the gift card... We talked about experiences for kids. It's the ultimate experience for women. Really you can is. hold on to that thing for a few months and say, you know what? I've had a crappy day in March. I'm going to cash in my gift card. Boom. So. I'm just saying. I'm giving I'm you a round of applause. You know, we get in new items almost every day. They go up online at least once a week. It's so exciting. We have a ton of clothes. I felt. I feel like that was um, a big thing that's barely curated within the ethical fashion industry. So obviously our boutique's full of clothes. Our online shop is full of clothes. Um, if you are local, in addition to receiving a gift card or gifting a gift card, we do private styling appointments in our shop that mm -hmm. are free. 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 F R A A. A A. <laughs> There's no minimum spend. We, we really will have people come in and get like, um, you know, one top or they'll get a whole fall wardrobe. There's no minimum spend. And you get to work one on one with a stylist who's just going to listen to your needs and hype you up and 
only send you out with things you look and feel great in. Yes. And I will say, I personally have done two styling appointments yes. this year. And people are like, Molly, you're a blogger. Like, why would you want to do a styling appointment? So you know fun to have other people pick things yes. out for you. Yes. I mean, like, I'm like, uh, yes. Can I style myself? Yes. Could I walk in the store and pick stuff out for myself? Yes. But what I love is like every time. I, so I've had Katie, the amazing Katie, be my stylist. I, I love because every time she picks out something for me that I wouldn't, wouldn't have, have thought of, picked out mm-hmm. myself. It's so fun. And I always end up walking out with something that I wouldn't have picked out for myself. Right. So it's so much fun. And it's just a really great, like, they'll, they'll, they got you some LaCroix. They'll provide <laughs> you with a beverage. I mean, it's cider, just. Spiked yes. cider with bourbon if you want. I'm just saying, it's just <laughs> really fun. It's really fun. And so I think you get you get the your friend, you ask for a gift card, and then set schedule a styling appointment mm-hmm. like it's just it's mm-hmm. it's an opportunity for you to take an hour to an hour and a half to yourself yeah and we have people drive in from four eight hours away spend several hours with us is so fun if you are not local follow us on instagram at the flourish market we've got something coming your way in the spring mm-hmm. to um help you out yeah. just saying just saying <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I re- I realized this whole time I've not shared my Flourish Market gift code for you. And oh, that is yes. still being Molly, and that gets you free shipping. That's right. So if you are not local, if you're not a local bestie, you can get yourself some free shipping so that it's basically like you're local. Love it. It's right to your doorstep. Just saying. Super fun. All right, Emily. We are almost oh we are almost out of time. Oh, but I've got some last que- I've We've got, got a last more. question for We've you and you've got a last question for, for me. me. Yeah, it's going to be so fun. Molly, this question comes from Emily Wallen. Molly, what's your favorite guilty pleasure Christmas song? <laughs> I think this is the answer I gave last year, but we're, we're just doing gonna it. Go again. With, we're going to go we're with it. it and that would be Merry Christmas from the family. <laughs> Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Mom got drunk oh, and Dad gosh. got drunk at our Christmas party. When John edits this, he's going to be shaking. I know I John's know. shaking his head right yeah, now editing this, being like, not again, Molly. Not again. I know. And I'm sorry. I realize, like, maybe that song might be a tiny bit offensive, but let's just be honest. It's a classic. We need to be offended and, a little bit. Um, you know, to be made to laugh, to yeah. preface for being offended yeah. when we actually right. enter yeah. the holiday season for real. I know. Such an interesting time of year. I know. I mean, there are obviously, I love Christmas music. So obviously, like, I mean, Grandma got run over by by a reindeer. Let's be honest. Like, that's another one that is like, really? We were singing a song about Grandma dying, getting run over by a reindeer? Like, there's some real weird... Christmas songs. Bless. Lily loves um, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Oh, God. Doesn't you want to stab your eyes out? Only a hippopotamus <laughs> will do. And like, she begs to hear that song and I'm just like, oh, Lord Jesus, gosh. make it stop. <sighs> Please make it stop. I have to upset, you know, I listen to the radio, I mean, the day after Christmas yeah. um, or day after Thanksgiving that holiday music starts around this area at least on Mix 101.5 and so I listen to it but that song when it comes Every on. Time. I want. I have to like bang the radio off. Seriously, I oh, can't. Gosh, cannot handle. But Lily, so sweet. I, I still know. love She's you. She's sweet girl. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite guilty pleasure Christmas song? Mm, okay, mine is this Christmas. Christmas the fire side is blazing bright. Do, 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 do. And when we're, we're caroling through, through the, the night. night. And this Christmas wow will be a very special Christmas. <laughs> we did not write it. No, we didn't. <laughs> that was too good. I mean, my favorite Christmas song is any song that you can do vibrato mm-hmm. to. Exactly. I'm not sure if that's the word for it. I asked yeah. Siri before we recorded what the yeah. word is for yeah. when you move your voice up and down. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, yeah. You know, because that's when I feel that's like a guilty pleasure. Yeah. Like guilty pleasure is I just know. going for the vibrato when like you it. actually can't sing. I like it. Yeah. Good. I like it. Good. Um this was not like a formally asked question. Oh, or maybe gosh. it was. But uh what's your favorite like you know, like serious Christmas song? Like you're just <sighs> your favorite, like you like you hear it and you're like Wow oh, Christmas. Mm. Okay, this is gonna be deep. Oh, I like it. Wow, Please. okay. All right, you put me on the spot. I really like this though. Okay, so I love every Christmas my church puts up four letters on top of our church N O E L and um yeah I mean it Noel the reason for this season and so 
I actually preached at my church for the first time back in June. Which was amazing. Oh, thanks, Malls. It and was amazing. I, um, Malls listened to the podcast, which mm-hmm. you can find if you go to my Instagram, at Sexton. It links to my website, and I've got yeah. the podcast on there. But um, I won't give it away, but I refer to those letters on top of our church and what they've meet what they mean to me actually ended my sermon that way. So the first Noel, that hymn, yeah, um, yeah has a deep meaning for me over the past few years for I sure. Yeah, what about you? I love that. Mine would be O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Yes. And my favorite version, honestly, I've heard a lot of beautiful versions, but the pentatonics version, no lie. <laughs> pentatonics like, version of anything. Of anything, of anything really. Anything. But like the pentatonics version of O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, it's like, it's this very kind of haunting version, mm-hmm. but just real. it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Also, Mary, did you know? Mm. Because when you really like, Every Christmas, you know, you hear Mary, did you know at some point, but when you really stop and listen to those lyrics, it's beautiful because she didn't know. No, she didn't know. And that's a call to us. It's like, we don't know what's in front of us, but we keep walking forward. Oh gosh. And like, I just think about like Mary, you know, not only like was Jesus the savior of the world, but like he was her son, like her physical son, Mm -hmm. she gave birth to him. And so I think sometimes that gets lost in the Christmas story is thinking about Mary's perspective, Mary's perspective. I mean, you know, sometimes, yes, I think we talk about it, but like really the fact that like, Mary, did you know that like your baby boy would like Mm -hmm. (laughs) would save the entire world? Can you imagine that? Oh, oh, I'm feeling all of the feelings, all the feels. I'm feeling all the feelings. Okay. Now, this I thought would just be a really fun question to end on. Okay. Um, And I know that obviously, you know, we, you know, we are, I like to make this a very um, intentional point of the show where I share that, yes, we are talking about gift guides. Yes, we're talking about shopping and all of those things. And we're going to ask ourselves a fun question here at the end. But Emily and I, I think it's pretty clear in the way we live our lives, the way we share on social media, the the things that I talk about in this podcast. Like, yes, gifts are fun. Yes, gifts are, are you know, I, for me, admittedly, like gifts are a love language. Mm-hmm. So, but at the end of the day, like I get so much more joy out of giving than yeah. I do receiving. Um, and I do also believe like you don't have to go crazy. Do not go into debt just to buy a holiday gift like it is not worth it it's not worth it there have been years in John and I's marriage especially in the first couple years when we were fully you know self-employed where we kept our Christmas budget real small it was real small it was like love you baby just make me a handmade car yeah it was like (laughs) love you babe Merry Christmas there's your gift um so yes like there are times when if you have the means to like spoil your family do it but but I think also keep in mind like Do not, it is not worth it to go into debt. Like, there's some crazy statistic where, like, Americans will go into, like, thousands of dollars in debt to buy Mm. Christmas gifts. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Um, So let's not do that. Um, And also just keep it in perspective. Like, we are in a consumeristic culture, and I think it's so important to make sure that we are sending a message to our kids and to our community that it is about giving, um, remembering. Like, I I sound so cheesy, like, the reason for the season. But really, like, remembering – what the Christmas season is really all about. Um, I think also this is a good time to plug every year um, for the past, this will be our fifth, fourth, fifth year, fourth or fifth year, um, that Lily and well, now Amos and I, we do our random acts of kindness during um, Christmas. And so during the month of December, and so I will have our random acts of kindness calendar up on my blog here do in it, the next couple do of weeks, it. which is so much fun. Flourish Margaret always participates in a few it's days. So mu- it's so much fun. Um, and so I just, I love to, to just talk about that because I mm-hmm. think that's an important piece of all of this. So I don't want in the promotion of these companies, which are all amazing, in the talking of gift guys and all this, I don't want the real meaning to get lost. And I don't say that flippantly. Like, I really do mean it. Um, Don't go into debt. Don't buy gifts just because you think you have to. Um, At the end of the day, like, it's about spending time with one another, giving generously to others. Um, I think that's really important. And showing up as love in the world. Amen. But... (laughs) With that being all I said. I want to hear. I what still, do you want for Christmas? I still think this is a fun question Yeah, it's fun. So I, I really want to know. I'm so, like, ooh, maybe I want that too. I know. So this is a serious, so we were talking a little serious, but I still think it'd be fun to end on a fun note. And that's asking each other, what do you want for Christmas? So uh, on my Christmas list, 
I'll be honest, the only thing like that I can think of right now is, well, okay, here's my need. So, men, plug your ears real quick. Oh, I boy. Need, I need new brawls. New brawls. <laughs> I need new brawls. Okay. I need new brawls. Um, sorry, men. Uh, okay. <laughs> but my want is I am eyeing that Abel Rose Gold Clutch. Let me oh, tell you. you mean the one I have in my bag right now? Yes. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry you didn't even no. know I had it, did you? No. I, oh, it's like I, two feet away from you right now. I am like, oh, gosh. I am eyeing that rose gold clutch, girl. Like, it is it is gorgeous. 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 Very beautiful. Yeah. So I love all the things rose gold. I know it's super trendy, but I really do just love rose gold. Um, and that rose gold clutch from Abel that you carry at the Flourish Market is, it's party. Molly. Yeah. I'm going to let you know right now. I'm going to give you that clutch. What? You don't need, give, you not need to do that. Here's why. Oh, my gosh. I was you not need just to do that. in Ethiopia <gasps> like a month ago with oh the Abel gosh. team on the ground. And I got to see them making that clutch. Oh, my gosh. Stop um, it. And I'm gonna I cry. am just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cry. We're just. I'm really. I can't believe it. 116 episodes of impact. Oh. Um, so our gift to you. It is a really beautiful clutch, oh and it was cool to finally get make it to Ethiopia to see the women in action and making all their leather goods and just oh yeah, seeing the impact behind the product. And able, their leather makers are women who have um, come out of really really tough situations, mm-hmm. and um, they've had stigmas placed on them by their communities. And it was so powerful to see yeah. um, the power of a dignified job. It really is do you want to t- tell i mean i know that this is running long and it's cool do you want to tell the story of emma bet because well that is what i was gonna really say i wanted for christmas oh my okay. gosh okay so i mean well i okay i really want a gift card if i'm like doing a product i really yeah. want a gift card to a place at the table oh which is yeah. in downtown raleigh and i literally go there almost every day <laughs> today was my fourth day in a row of meetings there they're raleigh's first pay what you can nonprofit cafe um look them up on instagram um online a place at the table if you're a local is amazing I'm there all the time so would love a gift card um because I just love like treating people to to coffee and lunch there and introducing them to the concept it's amazing and full of dignity yes um but what I really want for Christmas and this is giving you <clears throat> your listeners a huge heads up <gasps> Okay, drum roll, please. Yes. So, listeners of this podcast are learning 24 hours in advance. Every Thanksgiving night, we launch a big fundraising campaign. And this Thanksgiving night, and we will announce that in 30 days, we are raising $30,000 to put 30 women through a very special small business training program in Ethiopia through our strategic nonprofit partner, Help One Now. And... Um, the reason um, we didn't give a discount code for the Flourish Market, I mean, you definitely have free shipping, but when you use the code Still Being Molly, starting Wednesday when this podcast goes live to the following Wednesday, close of business, we will be donating 100% of your order <gasps> oh towards my- our $30,000 goal. Oh my goodness. Um, and we're going to hit it. So when you walk in our store, follow us on Instagram um, starting Thanksgiving night, we're going to ha- actually have the photos and bios of the 30 women that are on the waiting list to go through this program. And just to end with a a story that hopefully can put a name and experience behind the products of everything we've talked about today. I wanted to tell you the story of Emma Bad. I was just in Ethiopia with Help One Now. I got to t- take eight customers there and ex- see their impact in action. Um, so we regularly donate to Help One Now um, through the purchases made in our in our store. They have this incredible program called the Family Empowerment Program. It basically takes a woman that literally her family is on the edge of life, like mm. will not survive probably in the next six months. They yeah. will die. And... Um, and they put them through a, a small business training program, and then they just flourish. So Emma Bet, she had five kids. Her husband was um, deathly ill. And, um, yeah, they were all on the edge of life. None of her kids were in school. They were all working the fields to try to make enough money to eat. Um, she was identified by a social worker, brought to the attention of the local organization. She went through this small training program that we fund two years ago. And in less than two years, listen to what she's done. Uh, with this opportunity. She launched her own coffee shop. It did so well. She got to hire two women to run that. She now launched another kind of like mini restaurant, if you will, recently in the past few months. She has three women working for her there. She was um, able to put all five of her kids in school, which is so incredible. 
Seven street kids started frequenting around her coffee shop and begging for food. She found them a house. She now serves as their mom. She has put them in school as well. They don't have family, so she's put them in school. If we're taking numbers, that's 12 kids now. I was like, where does this woman find the time? <laughs> and um, what's really cool, if all that isn't super cool, um, she has taken what she's learned and on her own, She has identified 15 women on the edge of life in her own community, and she is mentoring them in a group setting once a week and helping them launch their own small businesses. Um, I asked him about, I was like, you're so inspiring. If I could take back one message to American women, um, what would that be? And she said, tell them this, you can multiply what's in your hand. Mm. You can multiply what's in your hand. And it was so beautiful because I'm like, here's a woman who's literally on the edge of life. But every step of the way, she's thought, how can I multiply what is in my hands? Literally every step of the way. And she's not looking to you know, grow her own platform or kingdom. She's like looking to spread the love and give other people literally these like life opportunities from death. And I just see her resurrecting so much in her life. When I think so many times in America, we look at what's in other women's hands. Yeah. We compare. We don't take the time to look at what's in our hand. We're just like, what else is in her hand? Like, I wish I had this in my hand. I wish I had this in my hand. It's like, you have so much in your hand. You have so much. You may not have, quote, enough money. You may not have, you know, be the best dress or whatever it is. But I want you to know you are enough. You have enough in your hand to multiply that and, like, show up as love in the world. And so I just want you to kind of carry that as you even think about how you're shopping for the holiday season, but even beyond that and how you show up in other people's lives. Like, I love the the, the acts of kindness you do, Molly. Yeah. That's a way to, like, multiply. Uh, you're, you're showing your kids how to multiply what's in their hands. So I think it's just a good reminder as we go into the holiday season and beyond what what we're truly capable of. Oh, I've... I've heard that story now, I think, three times, and I still seriously get choked up every time mm-hmm. I hear it because just what what a beautiful picture. And I also just love, like, that you can multiply what's in your hand. Like, it just makes me think of, like, walking like Jesus and, like, mm-hmm. think about the way Jesus multiplied what was in his hand, Absolutely. literally. Um, it, oh, gosh, it's so good. It's so good. Emily, this has just been incredible. And, like, yeah. For the listeners, those listening on Wednesday, you're getting advance notice of this, which is incredible. And I know you're going to hit that goal. Um, And the fact that you're donating 100% of the sales is just... Bring it on. We're going to start strong with Business with with Purpose podcast. (laughs) Listeners, that is a mouthful. How do you do that every week? (laughs) Business with Purpose podcast. Um, Oh, my goodness. Emily, this has been so much fun. Uh, Before we sign off, one more time, I want to thank our sponsor, Cultivate What Matters. Thank you so much for sponsoring the show. Um, And for those of you that are interested in checking out the Power Sheets or any of the other amazing products from Cultivate What Matters, you can go to stillbeingmolly.com slash cultivate to check those out and get 2019 started off right. Get you started off right. Emily, this has been so much fun. So much fun. So I guess I'll see you next year Um, behind the mic. Obviously. Way before then. I mean, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, obviously. (laughs) Thank you so much for coming on. And for just as a reminder, go to stillbeingmolly.com slash gift guide. And I will have all of the products, all of the links, all of the information at that link. So you don't want to miss it. Thanks for coming on the show, Emily. This is so much fun. It was so much fun. Happy holidays, everybody. Happy holidays, everybody. And I'll see you, I'll see you, well, probably like next week. See you soon. Okay. Hallelujah, everybody say cheese. Merry Christmas from the family.